are you overserved or are you overserving? Hi, I'm Lauren Fritch, and today I want to talk to you about something that just keeps coming up. It keeps coming up on random videos that I watch. It keeps coming up in my journaling. It keeps coming up in the sacred text I'm reading. And it comes up in my life. Overserving and overserved. So it seemed it was an appropriate time to talk about it. When I say overserving, what comes up for you? Obviously, overserved is having a little bit too much alky. Um, and we'll get to what I mean about that in a spiritual sense. But over-serving is what I think more of us are guilty of. And over-serving is when we do too many things for other people, for other movements, for other businesses, for everything else, everyone else in our lives, and we don't take care of ourselves. And it's a classic martyr syndrome, and even if you don't self-identify as a martyr and you can point that quality out in other people, you still might be over-serving. And it usually generates feelings like, what am I doing wrong? And I'm going to offer another way that I can help out so that so-and-so will think I'm a good friend or like me so that he'll love me. Um, Over-serving is so subtle. It can be something as simple as, you know, doing an errand for a friend just to help out. Or it can be as unsubtle and obvious as saying yes to your partner when you really want to say no. And that can go for anything. Um, I'm talking about people who <laughs> have agreed to move to another city just so that their partner will love them. So over-serving is ignoring our own needs and then doing whatever it takes that we think we need to do in order for someone else to love us or like us online, you know, if you're in business. Um, and then growing ever more resentful that they don't say thank you, that they don't value you, and that you're not spending time on the projects and tasks and self-care that you need to keep going. Um, I was reminded of this in a really uncomfortable way not too long ago related to a friend and I realized that I had a pattern in my friendships over decades of over serving of always being the one to reach out always being the one to travel to the other person uh, to meet up with them even if that meant hours and hours or flights or whatnot um, you know offering to to take care of random costs um, and and not then receiving something back for any of that uh, I felt that I had to do it, that it was part of being a good friend. And so I was able to couch all those behaviors under the guise of, oh, but I'm just doing what any friend would do. Well, the fact is, no, I wasn't <laughs> because my friends weren't doing those things back for me. Um, and fortunately, they're no longer my friends. Um, I'm choosing to surround myself with people who appreciate and love a give and a take and a time to give and a time to receive, a time to serve and a time to be served. And... It's very, very different. And I'm even starting to have to watch myself. Like even today, when my friend said, hey, no, I can't come to this thing. And I was like, oh, but what if I do this and this and this so that you can come? And it was like, you know, basically mitigating her objections a little bit. And it, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I hit send on the email, I actually was like, I don't need to do that for her to be my friend. So I deleted that and just said, okay, great. Whatever your decision is, it's fine. Um, that's over-serving. Over-served is obviously the flip side, where you are the person sitting in the throne with the palm trees, or the palm branches being waved upon you, and it feels great to be a queen, and treated as such, and we are queens and kings. Um, and I actually suspect that most of you watching this video are not going to be the type of 
people who just let people over serve you and don't reciprocate. But in case there are some of you <laughs> narcissists on board, borderlines, we don't discriminate. We like all dysfunctional types here. Um, and if you get triggered by that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but really, we do like all dysfunctional types. In any case, um, my therapist actually said something super funny on the phone the other day. And this is for all of us to appreciate. I wish I had told it earlier in this video. And it is that the the things like the sutras, the, the sutras, the principles of, you know, the Ten Commandments. She's like, all these um, world religions that have, you know, tenets for how to behave, those aren't for you. Those are for assholes. And um, over servers tend to always be outward focused. You're always picking up what other people are putting down. You're always noticing how your actions impact someone else. It is exhausting and it's what leads to your over serving. All those tenants, all those sutras, etc., she said, they're not for people like you. <laughs> So you're already nice. You already have compassion. You already strive to do no harm. Therefore, the overserved, the queens in the chairs with the palm trees and the acolytes, those are the people who need to be watching and studying the sutras and being like, oh, do no harm. What does that mean? And like, grappling with that, right? So if that is you and you're overserved, then I invite you, like, take a look. Take a look at some of the tenets of these religions because they're really beautiful, whether it's Buddhism or, you know, in the sutras and yoga or the Ten Commandments, whatever. Um, check it out and see what resonates. And that way we can start to balance out this, like, over-served, over-serving thing that we have going on in our world. You'd probably not be surprised to... to literally take out your your magnifying glass and start to uncover okay how does this overserved overserving duality show up in our world and it does we talk about it a lot in politics we talk about those who are in the 1% as like evil people who are overserved right and then the people the middle class the over serving them. Um, these patterns are, are everywhere for us to take a look at and examine. And it can really influence how we show up in the world, whether we're over serving or over served. And look, there are times in our lives when we need to be one or the other. Certainly. But I think that true wholeness comes from coming somewhere into the middle, asking for what you need when you need it, instead of being freaking passive aggressive about it, not letting people know what you need, and then getting mad at them when they don't. Okay, so that's a sam that's an example of what happens when we're over serving. So one, you got to ask for what you need. You got to know what you need. So you need to Go inwards, be mindful, contemplate, be able to answer that question. Oh God, what do I need? In order to bring those things into balance, we also need to know when enough is enough. We need to know when, you know what? I'm not going to give anymore. And then the corollary to that is know when enough is enough and then be able to articulate the word no. And say, you know what? No, I, I'm not going to do that. I choose not to do that, which is a more powerful word than I cannot do that. Um, and then finally, hmm, we have to come at all of this wrapped in the cosmic cotton fluff of love, right? So if we come at this from a place of uh, comparison or or the scales that, that must be even all the time it's not gonna work we have to come at this from the perspective of it's all good and we're doing this out of love when I say no it's out of love for myself and for you 
When I ask for what I need, it's out of love for myself and for you. So we have to come at it from that perspective as opposed to that very like quid pro quo perspective, which I think it could be easy to get into when we're thinking about things like over serving versus over served. So that took a little bit of a windy path today. Thank you for joining me on that little mind journey. And I hope to see you next time. If you like this vid, press like or share it on the social medias. And if you're an entrepreneur, I invite you to take a quiz about what kind of entrepreneur are you? You get a free training, depending on your type, that's specifically tailored to you. And more videos from me. Thank you so much. Peace.